Hi everyone, welcome to the grades 4 and 5 reading writing camp. My name is Emily and I am the lead teacher. Um, I also have two other teachers, Lucas and Eric. Uh, so today's theme follows the uh, theme of last uh, session with COVID-19. Um, and today's a writing day that is paired with that. Um, so the reading article can be found in the description box of last session, uh, but any supplemental videos from this session will be in the description box below. Um, today is a writing day, as I said earlier, so we will look at a couple of writing prompts um, as well as have a quick grammar lesson. Okay, so to start off, we have a, a writing activity for 15 minutes, and so you can choose one or two of these prompts and then uh, write a story or a couple paragraphs um, for about 15 minutes and then post it in the chat. So we have a quick grammar lesson on comma rules. So where you can use a comma, you can use it in lists to, 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 to separate the different parts of the list. For example, he walked, talked, and held the phone all at the same time. So this is a list of what the person is doing at the same time and you can and you can split them with commas. And second is to separate coordinate adjectives, which are adjectives with the same value. So for example, the chubby brown spotted dog trampled the flowers. So all of so 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 you can test if 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 you can test if to see if to see if they're coordinate adjectives by you can flip the you can flip the you can flip the order of the adjectives to see if it still works for example the brown chubby spotted dog or the spotted brown chubby dog all work or you can add and in between so the chubby and brown and spotted dog trampled the flowers that also works but you wouldn't use and but you wouldn't use and when writing so if you pass both of these tests, that means they're coordinate adjectives, so they have the same value, which means you have to split them with commas. So for example, I have blue wool sweaters. Would you put a comma in between blue and wool? So you'd first flip the order. Wool, blue, sweaters doesn't make any sense. And adding and in between, I have a blue and wool sweaters doesn't make any sense either. So the, these aren't coordinate adjectives, so they don't have the same value, so you can't put a comma in between. And the Oxford comma is basically the comma right, right before the and in a list. So for example, I like dogs, cats, and birds, so this comma is called an Oxford comma. Technically, you don't have to write it, but it's still a, but, but it's still a, but you should you should still write it because sometimes without writing it you can cause confusion. So without an Oxford comma, it would look like I like dogs, cats, and birds. Um, yeah, okay. And quotations, when you use quotations, you should use a comma on the last word that's right before the quotation. For example, she asked, comma, would you like coffee or tea? So you'd always have a comma here. Um and then you can, and you also, and when you put a commas or any type of punctuation at the end of a quotation, you always put it, you, you always put it inside the quotation marks since it's part of what the person is saying. So I would like cream as well, comma, and then the quotation mark, you reply, or I like cheese, explanation mark, and then the quotations. So the punctuation mark is always inside. The last activity of this session is a quick little fix this paragraph, um, which takes a paragraph from the article um, and applies the grammar knowledge that they use today. Um, so the you have to fix each uh, highlighted area as there are different comma problems um, that we've covered today in our grammar lesson. Um, but this would conclude this uh, today's session.